as his constant defense of Drake. Here's an example of this. We're just hating on Drake because he's like he's the guy. Mm. It's no like who's... feel like there's something extra on it. It's I'm probably like... it's also probably that he's fucked everyone's bitch. Yeah, that's that, mm. my like my my suspicion was like yo this shit got to be personal. I mean, he's also that guy though. Mm -hmm. All the records, all the numbers, like he's he's the one. Mm. How hard was that beat for you? Like so, he is saying that all of these people are just hating on Drake. Because he smashed a girl. And to me, that is just ignorant. That is just dumb. That is something that, like, some tweet, some Twitter users have said. And that is not the case. And all of these high profile beef that people have with Drake, they have all stated why they don't rock with him. Dram, Drake stole his song, he stole Cha Cha. I remember when Hotline Bling came out and it was titled Cha Cha Remix. I remember that. And I also remember Drake stealing his song. That's why he has a beef with Drake. Rick Ross is because Drake did Friends Montana dirty. He stated it, said it very clear. ASAP Rocky, Drake keeps dissing his girl, his baby mama. What is he supposed to do? Just sit there and let him keep throwing shots at both of them? What is he supposed to do? Like, I don't know what Metro Boomer's issue is with Drake, but it, he said it ain't about a girl. He said Drake knows what it's about. And if he said it, it would make both of them look bad. So, hmm. Hmm. Kendrick's, Kendrick was very clear. And it wasn't about a girl. It was not about a girl. He hates the way that he walked, the way that he talked. He hates the way that he dressed. He thinks Drake is a vulture. He thinks Drake is a manipulator. He thinks that Drake is an abuser. A predator. Those are the reasons that he stated that he didn't like that man. And a lot of people have reasons to not like that man. That's not just women related. So many people. I I have an issue with Drake. I feel like he's always talking negative about black women. I feel like he's always shooting shots at black women. But that's neither here nor there. That's a story for a different podcast.